Hey all here, OS Reviews, you're watching our hands-on review of the Tron Smart TK09R. This is a RGB backlit mechanical gaming keyboard that sells for $65, which is still relatively affordable. It does have a palm rest integrated onto the keyboard, so it takes up a little bit more space than a really compact layout. But the logo here is also backlit, which is uh, something that you don't really see in a lot of these budget mechanical keyboards on the market. It comes, of course, with many different switch options. The version that we have today is the blue switch model. And very interestingly, Tronsmart also includes a mini CD. Haven't seen one of these in ages, but you can put it onto a Mac or a PC and then program some of the keys to do special commands and maybe shortcuts for things like gaming as well as for editing and other software tools. Afterwards, there's a built-in memory on the keyboard so it remembers those special commands and every time you plug it into some something new, it's still going to access those shortcuts. And yes, this is definitely a gaming centric keyboard. For instance, here's one by Mechanical Eagle. You can tell that it's also a full-size layout, but it's considerably smaller. Now the plating here is made out of plastic, kind of expected for something low cost because they had to cover a larger material and surface area. And then on the back, we also have the same continuation of a plastic build with soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface, as well as a few different positions for the USB cable so you can change up the position a little bit. It is gold plated, but unfortunately it isn't removable or detachable, so it's fixed. We also have a stand which we can pop up at an elevated angle for typing more ergonomically. Something else I want to point out is that there are two LED light strips on the sides of the keyboard that kind of accentuates this slightly tapered shape. Plugging the keyboard into a computer, immediately it pops into life, and you can tell that the LEDs are actually fairly bright, so even if there's a little bit of light in the room, uh, it should still be fairly visible. Obviously the effect is the best when it's pitch dark. We can also see the LED strips both on the kind of uh, wrist pad here, in addition to the kind of trapezoid on the side for the tapered edge. Now there are 10 different modes that you can cycle through and you can press a combination of F5, F6, and F7 to change both the modes as well as the playback speeds. So let's try it out, going through some of the different modes, tapping on function, F5, we'll go through different colors. So now this is going to a gently strobing color, tapping on it again, we now have a pattern going upwards once more and the pattern is now kind of in a circle going back and forth. And let's just dim the lights completely now. Lifting the keyboard up a little bit. Let's tap on function F5 once more. And now it's rippling towards the left once more and it goes to kind of a static color. And then once more, it kind of just repeats. Function F6 will have a reactive mode. Function F6 again, and now it's gonna react but in an entire row as opposed to just one key at a time. Function F6 again, and now it's rippling outwards. Function F6 once more, and now it seems like we just have the uh, numpad, which is always turned on, rippling in this blue pattern. So now if we tap on something like function F7, for instance, that is going to kind of lock everything into place. So once, once again, it turns it back on. So for instance, if we're in this particular mode, we can tap on F7 basically to pause it in between any of the transitions and animations. All right, so now some of the custom gaming modes, you can tap on function F9, F10, 11, or 12. So for instance, F10 right now is mapped to this. So we have kind of the ASDW, which is green. So these are probably the arrow commands for a certain game. Uh, and then kind of the R is now turned red. So it does mean that all of the keys underneath here can be fully programmed in terms of their color. It's not just one color underneath each key. Of course, all of this can be completely customized to your liking uh, using the software. If you want to you know, have different keys lit up and whatnot. Function F12, and again, we have a different shift once more. So depending on the game that you're using, you can control this and tweak it to your liking. And removing one of the key tabs here just for demo, you can tell that indeed it's using these blue switches underneath, and the LED lighting is actually from the very top edge of the keys, which is very interesting because it's actually quite effective when it comes to illuminating the entire uh, kind of layout. And when it comes to the actual typing experience, I was also very impressed. Just because the keys are extremely stable, there's no kind of shifting at all, the keys feel very firm. And of course we have that clicky tactile sensation, which is typical for mechanical keys. So the switch kind of does the work for you, you don't need to press quite as hard as on a membrane or an island style keyboard. Uh, just a lightest amount of pressure will send the entire key all the way down. So after using it for I would say about 30 minutes, I got a pretty comfortable typing speed on it that was uh, about typical for me compared to other keyboards, and I made very few Few errors. Uh, the overall spacing and layout is again quite wide and generous because it really is a full-size keyboard. So it's not cramped feeling at all. It uh, just feels very natural when you are typing along.
takeaways would be that blue switches again are definitely not silent so they do produce quite a bit of noise so if you're in a really uh you know shared environment you may want to consider a different switch such as, such as brown switches or red switches instead so really whether it's for typing out longer emails or if you're a programmer coding or just for gaming purposes it really is an excellent kind of all-round performer the wrist pad i did find to be a little bit on the kind of hard side because it's not made out of a soft touch material it's just a rigid matte plastic but on the plus side you can clean it very easily just wiping it off since it doesn't have kind of a softer material still it does give you a slight angle for your wrist which is a little bit more ergonomic if you're typing for longer periods of time so that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the TronSmart TK09R. This is their newest gaming-centric mechanical keyboard, but it also doesn't break the bank, retailing at only $60. It has a lot of unique features, such as uh, custom lighting modes, the fact that you can play and pause the animations at any time, the fact that it has these additional LED lights on the sides, as well as on the wrist plate itself, are things that you don't really see at this price point. The keys themselves feel very responsive, very similar to other blue switch keyboards on the market, but they are very tactile, they're very kind of satisfying to click on, they can greatly improve your accuracy and reduce the amount of stress uh, and kind of pressure that you need to apply onto each key. You can check out more details in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been the TronSmart TK09R.